On Patrick's Hill, we climbed the wall at Bell's Field. I stretch out my arms, embracing the beautiful north side, vanishing over the horizon at Knocknaheeny and Blarney Street. Laid out like a table at Christmas, tumbling with dainties and delights, framed by the salt and pepper cellars that are the belfries of Shandon and the North Cathedral. We walk through the knee-high meadow and nestle down into a sheltered hollow. Sprawled there, barefoot on a grassy ridge above the city, my mind travels across Brewery Valley, each laneway step and steeple from the Bishop's Palace right over to the Dome of City Hall, bolts of pleasure and pain as my memories stop off along the way at the North Mon, Easton's Hill, Murphy Stack, landlocked Powell Raddy Harbour, then all the way back to Redemption Road and over the city to the spiked towers of Holy Trinity, St Finbar's and the green tops of St Francis. In the distance, the county hall scraping clouds picks up the gold of a dying sun and out along the Lee Valley to Carrigrahan Strait, there like a last grasp of life, a setting sun sends flames of red and orange and yellow licking high up into the sky, looks like Valencolic's burning. My city is a royal town, dressed up in crimson and gold. In the distance, through the mists of a coal smoke, the cry of an echo boy, the chimes of an ice cream van across on Spangle Hill, the bells of some cathedral or other, the yelps of children from Roach's building playing ball along the road. There is a harmony of movement and colour and sound. Everything is as one. The aromatic blending of Murphy's Brewery, Linhen's Sweet Factory and Bracken's Bakery. Jesus, this could be heaven, I say. Could be, she smiles, could be.